A lot of you have asked some really great questions all this week about uh, several aspects of COVID, the vaccines and what's to come. I want to bring in Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health, who is back with us. Good morning, Dr. Winter. Good to see you. Good morning, Sonia. Good to be back with you. So first off, what do you uh, say to people who go, wait a second, cases are rising again, pediatric cases as well. What is happening here? Well, they're not rising yet in Texas, but as you just heard, they're rising all over the country. So we have to be worried about that also. They talked about the fact colder weather puts people indoors, less masking is an issue, children going back to school, spreading the virus, bringing it back home. And a big concern is these booster shots, do we need more of those? Well, we're seeing folks that had vaccines back in the early part of the year, they're now starting to get COVID. So there's some wane immunity that's a big concern, Sonia. Yeah, booster shots have been such a big topic. Uh, Dr. Winter for me this week, I got mine on Tuesday and I did mix and match and I did Facebook lives and tweets and Instagram posts on why uh, I chose to do that. So what do you say though about, because a lot of people go, oh, well, so you got a booster now. Are you going to need another one in six or eight months? And I'm like, I don't know yet. Let me ask Dr. Winter. So what do you say? <laughs> You know, it's really important to emphasize the fact this virus has only been in the human race less than two years. We're still learning about it. We're learning how our immune systems react to that. So we don't know a lot of answers quite yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we all need one about once a year or so. But until more studies done, until time passes, we don't really know the answers to all those questions yet, Sonia. And then Dr. Winter, is there a way to test antibody levels? Um, I, I know that we've got at home COVID tests and I want to ask you also about how accurate those are, but I've heard of people, you know, going to, to get a blood test and test their antibody levels to see if they need a booster. Is that the only measure for protection? Well, it's one measure of protection. It does take a blood test, it usually takes about a day or two to get back and it measures antibodies. Here's the problem though, it doesn't correlate very well with immunity. I've seen patients that have been vaccinated. It's been a while now, they get the antibody test and it's negative and they get COVID, but they have a mild case. So they don't really correlate very well. And in fact, our infectious disease doctors at Baylor tell me, don't even get the antibody test. We can't correlate them, they're misleading right now. So we don't have a good way to know. Uh, it looks like the longer you are from your last uh, COVID shot, the sooner you may need to consider getting a booster. Mm, okay, and how about those at-home COVID tests? Yeah, I like those. The advantage is they're quick. They're about 25 bucks for two tests. You can get the results back in 10 or 15 minutes and the results are pretty good. Now they're most reliable if you have symptoms or if you were exposed, have no symptoms and three to five days have passed. Early on, they may give you a false negative. So I do like those tests. In fact, I did one of myself and my wife before our daughter's wedding last week. And fortunately we were negative, but they gave us some reassurance to mingle with the rest of the crowd. Good and congratulations, by the way. Hey, um, how are flu numbers looking right now? Thank I got you. my flu vaccine actually at Baylor uh, Garland a few weeks ago. What is it looking like here? Yeah, well, we're just starting to see a sprinkling of cases, but they're starting to take off and we worry about that. Last year, there's practically no influenza. I attribute that to distancing, masking, washing our hands. So there's very little natural immunity from last year. So we're anticipating a big year with influenza this year. So I encourage everyone to get a flu shot. Um, and Dr. Winter, finally, a lot of parents go, well, can my kid, who's five to 11, you know, now they, they've got COVID vaccines available to them. Can they get a flu shot and a COVID vaccine at the same time? I listened in on the ACIP meeting last week and doctors were suggesting that they get, they can, but maybe just get them in different parts of the body. Yeah. A flu shot on one arm and a COVID shot on the other arm, they work perfectly fine. We've been doing that for a while now with adults and some with kids. We see no problem with that. So I do recommend that. You know, we're real worried this year, Sonia, if we have a big influ influenza outbreak and a surge of COVID, it could easily overwhelm the healthcare system in America. So the more people that get vaccinated for both flu and COVID, the more prepared we'll be. All right, Dr. David Winter, thank you. Good to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you.